Hi, and welcome to another Vision Australia Vision Store product demonstration. And in this demo today, I want to talk to you about the Victor Reader Stream, DAISY and multimedia player that Vision Australia Vision Store sells. And the product ID number for this one is ESRM021, which is E for Elephant, S for Sam, R for Romeo, M for Mike, 021. So ESRM021 is the product ID number. All right, let me just start giving you a physical description of the Victor Reader Stream, and I'll quickly tell you what's in the box, and then we'll do a pretty quick demo. All right, so the Victor Reader Stream, you've got a standard style numeric keypad. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and there's two dots on the left and right hand side of key number five. 7, 8, 9, and of course star, 0, and hash. And of course, all of these have their specific functions. Above that numeric keypad, and these are very raised up buttons, by the way, above that keypad, we've got three buttons. We've got a button on the left, a button on the right, or a key, and a nice big round button in the middle at the top. If I come down the bottom, we have four keys. We've got three keys down the bottom, which is basically left arrow pointing left, a big play pause rectangular button, and a right button or, the, or a right cursor button pointing <laughs> pointing right above the play pause button the rectangular button right above that is an oval shaped button and that is amongst other things your time and sleep button and then if i turn it on its side here at right at the top quite snugly onto the side of the unit top left hand side We've got the on off button. It's also got a it's also acts as a mode button as well. And then below that we've got an up arrow and a down arrow. And of course that's volume up and volume down. So if I put it down, then turn it over to the right hand side, sticking up towards the camera, right at the top where my finger is, we've got a good old fashioned headphone jack. I love headphone jacks. And then below it, just here, now tactile, this is a little bit hard to find. But that's your record notes button for recording notes or lectures or workshops and so on because this unit does have an internal microphone which works really nicely if i pull the unit up this way actually i just made a mistake guys just let me just backtrack a little bit i'm going to be talking about this side here so if we come to the right hand side up the top where my finger is, that's an inline port. And then below that is a very smooth tactile button, which is quite flush with the case. And that's your record notes button. If I set it up on its bottom, so it's now upright, right in the middle at the top, we've got the SD card slot. Now, if I just get my finger and push down, it's just popped out the SD card. So I'm just going to push it back in again and it's spring loaded so you might have heard it a click click as it re-engaged to the spring mechanism and then to the right of that SD card slot is your 3.5 mil good old headphone jack and the microphone is basically towards the top of the unit to pick up your voice when you're doing voice recordings notes recording lectures and that sort of stuff and if I stick it on its top so near the bottom now it's facing up Right in the middle and the bottom, we've got a micro USB port, which of course you use for charging and for data transfer from a computer, such as a Windows computer or a Mac, onto the Victor Reader Streamer. All right, so let me just very quickly tell you what you mainly, exclamation mark, get in the box. So of course you get the Victor Reader Stream. You also get this silicon case which I've just taken off so it's a nice soft silicon let's pop back in again and by the way the battery on the back of the Victor Reader stream is removable and you can put in a replaceable battery which is really really good okay so that's the silicon case and I just mentioned the battery compartment so that's the silicon case and I just mentioned the battery system in passing you also get a USB to adapter cable to plug into the supplied charger to charge the unit. You get some headphones and you also get another USB adapter to attach USB sticks to if you also want. 
a getting started guide and primarily that's what you get in the box. All right, so I'm going to turn it on by holding in this power button on the top left hand side. So holding it in one Mississippi and then releasing it. So we'll just try that again, guys. So I'm going to press the button in, hold it for about two seconds. So one Mississippi, two Mississippi, and there we go. I've got the beep. Welcome to Victor Reader. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone by J.K. Rowling. Okay, so that was the last connected audio book Daisy Book I was reading. And it just said connected to Wi-Fi because you can link the Victor Reader Stream up to your Wi-Fi network to do online access of different things, including the Vision Australia Library. So if I just simply press play now, the rectangular button at the bottom middle. Chapter 3. The Letters from No One. The escape of the Brazilian boa constrictor. Of course, that's Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. I'm just going to press the play pause button again to shush it up. Okay, now, remember I said this on off button is also a mode button. So if I press it now. Speed. It says speed. Press it again. Tone. Tone. Press it again. Volume. And volume. I press it again. Speed. Back around to speed. So if I go to volume. Tone. Volume. And now I press the volume up button. Up arrow. Volume. 12. Volume. 13. Volume. 14. Volume. 15. And I think that's it. Let me press it one more time. Volume. Yep. 15. Okay. And of course, if you cycle around to speed and tone and press the up and down arrows, the speed or tone would go up or down by just pressing the down or up arrows individually. All right, so let's see how the volume sounds now. I'm going to press play pause again. New notification available. Daisy Online. Nine network newspapers are currently not available through the library. The Nine Network are experiencing a significant technical issue affecting all their media services, including newspapers. We are monitoring the situation and will make newspapers available as soon as they are available to us. We apologize for the inconvenience. Now that, by the way, was the cyber attack with Channel 9. And of course, that's affecting our newspapers here at Vision Australia from the online service. So as you can tell, it's very interactive. You can get notifications via the unit, via the library in this case. All right, so what we're going to do is just press play pause to start the Daisy book playing. By the time he was allowed out of his cupboard again, the summer holidays had started and Dudley had already broken his new Cine camera, crashed his remote controlled aeroplane. Yeah, I know that book so well. All right. Now, just to give you some main tips. So... The number one key is what's called your bookshelf key. So if I press it once. Bookshelf, Vision Australia. So Five, that's the Vision books, Australia three. library service. If I press it again. Podcasts, that's my podcast podcast feeds, that I've subscribed to online. Using I press it again. Internet radio. That's two, internet radio. One, favorites, references. References. Zero, files. Search on Wikipedia. And, and there we can search on Wikipedia. If I press the right arrow to the right of the number five with dots on it. Search on Wiktionary. We can search on Wiktionary as well. I'm going to press the bookshelf key again, number one. Vision Australia. And I'm back to Vision Five, Australia. Box three. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. So, for Stone. example, if By I want to press Rowling. the bookshelf key again. Podcasts, 10. Podcast feeds, 10. I see, using various technologies. Oh, that's I see, using various technologies from a blind person's perspective. David By Woodbridge. David Woodbridge, me. One. New episode. And if I just press play. Welcome to this very interesting demo, at least as far as I'm concerned, of playing the game Blind Drive on your iOS device, in my case, the iPhone 12 Pro, with, drumroll, a Nimbus SteelSeries controller. And I okay, and by the way, that Blind Drive game is... Well, in the App Store, it says 12+. plus. I actually think it's 15+. plus. So it's a game that has quite a lot of swearing in it. So I wouldn't recommend it for anybody really under 15. Okay, so that's just a warning. All right, so if I press it again, I'm going to press my bookshelf again. Number one. Bookshelf. Podcasts. Ten. And if Podcast. I press it again. Internet radio. Here's my Ten. internet radio. Playlists. One. Favorites. Now, I've already got favorites already selected because this is my Victor Reader stream. If I press my right arrow. Two. 
Humanware playlist. English, These are the Australia Humanware playlist that Humanware provides by default. But if I wanted to press left, I'd go back to my favourites one. One. Favourites. And press the hash key or confirm, which is to the right of the zero. One. AM 702 ABC Sydney 702 dash MP3 ABC radio play minus 92.5 ABC Central Coast Sydney okay. Australia. So that's actually 702 and 92.5 here on the Central Coast in Gosford Distance Wales where I am. So I press play. Follow the instructions. Oh, I'm going to turn left in 200 metres. Well, it's hard to tell because he knows the way. So, mm. and it's the same way. So I don't understand. <laughs> and that's ABC Radio. So I am listening to online radio and you can search practically for any radio station you like around the world to listen to. That's what's fantastic about online services. Plus the fact that with those podcasts, the same deal, you can search for a podcast by using the numeric keypad with what they used to call the old T9 system. So remember that's two is ABC Three is D E F, number four is G H I, K is J K L, and so on and so on. So if I press the bookshelf key again, bookshelf, internet radio, t references, Vision Australia, and I'm back to Vision Five. Australia. If I press Books. play, and first I'm back to my Harry Potter book. Now, that's the online service. Now remember, I mentioned this round button at the top here in the middle. If I press it, bookshelf notes. Zero. I've Notes. gone to my local bookshelf, not my online bookshelf, because I press it again. Bookshelf, Vision Australia. It says Five. bookshelf, Books. that's my online bookshelf. Three. I press it Ten. again. Bookshelf. Notes. Zero. And as soon as it says notes, I know I'm back in the, the normal local notes. So let me just do a quick note. I'm going to press this button on the side here on the right hand side, which is very flush with the case. I'm just going to press it once. Start recording. The quick brown fox leapt over the lazy dog and raced away into the bush, never to be seen again by guide dog, guide cat, or any other animal that may be chosen as a guide individual. <laughs> All right, I'm going to press that same button on the right hand side here again. Stop recording. Note one created. Okay, let's see what happens with that recording. So I'm going to press play, pause down the bottom here in the middle, in the, in the middle, the rectangular button. The quick brown fox leapt over the lazy dog and raced away into the bush, never to be seen again by guide dog, guide cat, or any other animal that may be chosen as a guide individual. <laughs> All right, I'm going to press that same button on the right hand side here again. End of note. And there we go. Now, I won't go into deleting notes and that sort of stuff because this is just an orientation to the unit for this particular demonstration. All right, let's say you would like to explore what the keys are on the Victor Reader stream. If I hold down the zero key, key describer on, I've turned key describer on. So if I press any key on the keyboard, top left hand side, go to note. Let's go to note. That's because I'm, I'm actually in notes. If it was another function, it would say something different. Press the top middle round key. Online features. Online features. Press the right hand key at the top. Bookmark. That's bookmark. Now we can press the keys on the main numeric keypad. Bookshelf one. Okay, bookshelf one. Scroll up two. Scroll up two. Delete note three. Delete note three. Now remember it's saying delete note because I'm actually in notes at the moment. Four. Move back four. Move back five. Where am I? Five. Where am I? Is five. Six. Move forward. Six. Six, move forward. Seven. Menu. Seven. Is menu. Very handy. Eight. Scroll down. Scroll Eight. down. Nine. Playback mode. Nine. Playback mode is nine. Ever press star. Cancel. So star is cancel or asterisk. Zero. Info. Zero. Info. And I press the hash button. Confirm. Is the confirm button. And then let's try play pause. Play stop or play stop as that says, left arrow, rewind, rewind, right arrow, fast forward, fast forward, or next, depending on what you're doing. Okay, dokie. All right. And if I press the oval button above the play pause button, or the play stop button, sleep, that's the sleep button. And to come out of key describer, I'm going to hold down the zero key, key describer off, and I've come out. Now, if I press that, that round 
sleep button now above the rectangular play pause or play stop button. 14, 29, hours, 30, March, 2021. Okay, so basically 29 minutes past 2 on the 30th of March 2021 when I'm doing this demonstration recording. And that button also acts as the sleep button, i.e. when you press it, hold it in, you can cycle around to different things. So if I press it and hold it in. Date and time settings. Set time. Actually, I just made a bit before you. Let me just press the cancel button. Leaving date and time settings. All right, now I'm going to press it again. 14. Sleep. 15. So minutes. you basically press it twice to get in the sleep function because the first time you press it, you get the time. The second time you press it, you press it sleep. If you hold it in, which I just did previously, it's where you get to set the time and date on the Victor Reader stream itself. All right, I'm going to press the cancel button. And I obviously didn't need to because it just went boop. That's perfectly fine. All right. If you'd like to read the user manual, you hold down the bookshelf key, which is number one. So if I hold that down now. Enter user guide. Release. Victor Reader stream user guide. Okay, and let's press play. Victor Reader stream user guide. Humanware. Victor Reader stream user guide. Now, because this is a daisy play, remember, if I press 2 or 8, I can cycle between the hierarchical menu to navigate to. So if I press 8, screen. that's to navigate by screen with 4 and 6. So I'm going to press up arrow. Level 4, level 3, level 2. Okay, so let's try level 2. So if I press my right arrow key, we're going to be navigating by level 2 headings. 1.1, one unpacking the player. Okay, now I don't want to do the following items. Shush, just press play pause. Now I don't want to do it by 1.1, I want to go by major heading. So if I press up arrow. Level 1. Okay, now I'm going to press 6 again. Two basic functions. Now we're going chapter by chapter. Basic functions. Three numeric key functions. Numeric key functions. Four direct navigation. Direct navigation. Five advanced functions. Advanced functions. Six configuration menu. Configuration menu. Seven bookshelf structure and characteristics. So that's bookshelf. The files on all bookshelves. Characteristics. The maximum file name length. And we'll just pause it. So you can quickly zip around. So if I want to go back to the beginning, I can just press four. Seven book. Beginning of book. And press play. Victor Reader Stream User Guide. Isn't it Human nice and easy? Victor Reader Stream User Guide. Okay, play pause. And hold in the number one for the bookshelf again. Exit User Guide. Oh, bookshelf. Notes. Okay, one. now just Note. one final tip one. I want to let you know about. So let me just press my bookshelf key, then I'm in sort of this, this local mode if you like. So I'm going to press one. Text files. One. File. One. Now, Switching normally when you get your Victor Reader stream, the only thing that will be available is the notes directory. Uh, because the way this works is that you've got these file folders on the Victor Reader stream SD card, and in sort of good old, you know, operating system terms their directory or folders so they're called vr for victor reader and then you've got dtb for daisy talking book you've got other for music you've got music for music you've got podcasts you've got text for text files and when there's nothing in those folders it doesn't come up on this bookshelf directory as soon as you've got files in those they appear and of course, you'd put them on there by just linking up the Victor Reader stream to your computer. Now, because I've got one in my text folder, and it says switching from the Mac uh, from Windows, if I press the play and pause button. Switching between using a screen reader in Windows to the Mac voiceover. This document outlines the points that I go through when explaining the difference between Windows and the Mac. And that's what it Whilst sounds like, the reading a text file out with the built-in exactly text-to-speech. They seem close enough in my mind to make a general... Yeah, just a quick little tip here. If I hold down the number 7 key... Lucy. I've changed the voice to Lucy. And if I press play, pause again... General comparison to get a point across. Whilst the Mac is usable out of the box with voiceover, there are a number of changes that I now, make... me personally, the last I point actually don't find that voice very clear. I just press the play, pause button to stop it. So I'm going to press hold in 7 again. Tyler. And I'm back to the Tyler voice. Now press play, pause again. Points in this document. Points. One. Max cover Mac Minus. And sorry, Mac that normally is your hair. Books, books, my Max and Mac Pros. Amazon Accessibility and Echo saying that I've received a notification on my delivery. 
Okie dokie. So that is really an overall introduction to how the Victor Reader stream works. Now, as I said to you, when you get it turned on, you'll have a blank SD card and you only have notes. Of course, if you go to the online bookshelf and as long as you're online, then you can subscribe to podcasts, to the internet, different radio stations, and of course to Vision Australia with your username and password. Again, remembering that you're going to be putting it in on the numeric keypad. So look, it is an extremely flexible device. It reads lots of document type formats like RTF, DOC, HTML, all those sort of file types. You can play MP3 files and other media files on it. So from a flexibility point of view, you're getting lots of devices in one. You're getting a podcasting program. You're getting an internet radio program, a talking book program. Keep in mind also too that you can also get podcasts and newspapers, exclamation mark from the Vision Australia Library. You're getting a recording device with a note taker. It can read text files. It can play music files. Really, really fantastic. And just as a final note, remember that this one does not have Bluetooth. So while it connects to a wireless network, which you can get someone to link up for you if you do want to do that, but you'll have to use headphones with the headphone jack to listen privately if you want to. Uh, the Victor Trek, which is the combined GPS and Victor Reader Stream all in one unit, so of course GPS for navigation, it does have Bluetooth. So check that out in another product demonstration that I will have done on the Victor Trek. All right, so for the moment, let me just turn this unit off. I'll let you explore all the other things, including how long the battery lasts for and how to check for the battery and how to check for downloads and how to use the menus and all that sort of cool stuff. But I hope this initial demo has given you enough to be getting on with. So I'm going to hold down this multimodal button. So the on off in the mode button. Remember the mode button was to switch between tone, speed and volume. So I'm going to hold it in. One Mississippi, two, there we go, it's already turned off. And uh, there we go. That's a completion of a bit of a demonstration of the Victor Reader Stream Multimedia and Daisy Player from the Vision Australia Vision Store. Remember I said the product ID number was ESRM021. If you'd like to contact us, please email visionstore at visionaustralia.org. Of course, our phone number that you can get to us via the main number is 1300 847 466. And of course, you can buy this Victor Reader Stream online by going to the shop page, which is simply shop.visionaustralia.org. And as I say in all my demonstrations, I appreciate your attention and bye for now.